Yo, what's up? This is Scott Talinsky with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be leveling up your SAS basic skills even further. Uh, we got a couple of small things to go over, um, a couple of, um, you know, small, easy features that can make your life a little bit easier, keep your code a little bit more organized. Um, I'm actually sort of surprised I haven't gone over these already, how, uh, because they are sort of, you know, in the in the realm of the the key basics. So. The first of which is we're going to go over import. And what import does, it allows you to reference a whole nother style sheet. Um, and then when you uh, compile your uh, your SAS document, it actually brings in those files and puts it into uh, one CSS file. So this could be useful, you know, maybe you want to keep your mixins in a completely separate SAS file, or if you want to keep, um, it, let's say you want to keep your uh, your media queries and another SAS file as well. Um, it can, you know, basically if you, keeping your code organized or keeping your SAS code organized, it's pretty much up to you how you want to do it. Um, for this demonstration, I'm just going to use the style.scss file that we used from the um, basics tutorials previously. So the first step is is that you have to um, name your your file correctly. So because um, I want to keep this file intact. Um, for other reasons, I'm just going to duplicate it. Um, and what I'm going to name this is, is the first character is underscore. So underscore style dot SCSS. All right. So then at your top of your uh, SAS document here, we're just going to do import. So it's the add symbol, then import. And then uh, within quotations, we're going to write the name of the file. So it's just style. And then end that out with a semicolon, and we're going to save this. So you can see uh, SAS overrides fine. Um, and now, if we go into our CSS file, you can see all of the styles coming from uh, this style.scss file. So that's pretty awesome. Um, you know, it could save you a lot of. Uh, you know, clutter in your in your SAS documents, so they don't end up having you know something like this this mix in that you know is very functional but takes up a lot of space. So uh, so that's imports. The next thing we're going to cover is parent reference. So basically, uh, this is useful for things like anchor tags or um, you know hover states or or, or things like that. So um, this goes along sort of with nesting. So inside of our circle, we're going to make our circle's background color change on hover. So within these brackets, we're going to put an ampersand, and then we're going to do a colon, and then hover. And then now, within these brackets, we can say background black. Save that. Uh, and now if we refresh this, and now you can see it grabbed the styles from our uh, import. And now if I hover over the circle, you can see it has gotten the hover state of black. So this just, you know, saves you a little bit of time. You don't have to write and uh and you don't have to go down here and do circle hover. So yeah, it's just another quick little shortcut that uh SAS makes your life a little bit easier for. Alright, well that's importing and parent reference. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or let us know. Um, you can follow us on Twitter at Level Up Tuts and uh, subscribe to our channel if you like the videos. We're going to keep more coming, lots more coming. All right, thanks. Bye.